بسم الله والسلام على رسول الله. Today I will show you how my parents taught me to make electrical circuits. Here is a diagram of the parallel circuit we will be making. We will need a motor, an LED, 100 ohms resistor, a switch, a battery holder, couple of batteries, and a few wires. We will also use a snap circuits board. After explaining to her what each symbol means, we will let her make the circuit using a snap circuits board. Let's start then. We want her to understand the symbols and connect the components together on her own. We place the snap circuit board next to the circuit diagram and let her pick the components shown in the diagram. She puts them aside before snapping them in place. Initially, we want her to learn the actual components by their symbols and connect them properly. A snap circuits uses standard electrical symbols, which makes it very useful to teach basic concepts to a child. I also want to tell you that this phase took several tries before she gets it right. A lot of patience and explaining went on behind the scenes. For example, she places the LED in the wrong direction. The LED will not light up, which she realizes when she tests the circuit and corrects it on her own. We will be making two circuits parallelly connected. One will have an LED connected to the power source and a switch. The second will have the motor with a fan on it. Let's wait for her to complete. Now the circuit is complete. Let me try it. Oops, the LED does not work. It's the wrong way. Okay, let me fix that and try one more time. Both the motor and the LED are working. Great, everything worked as planned. Now we will let her reverse engineer what she did with the snap circuits. We want to make sure the circuit and its concept is very clear in her mind. We have hidden the original diagram and she's drawing a new diagram on her own from what she built on snap circuits. Let's take a look at what she drew and if it matches the circuit on the board. Yep, looks good to me. Okay, now let me compare my drawing with what my mother gave me. It looks the same to me. Mama, what do you think? Yes, you did very good. Finally, it's time to apply what she learned. Let us have some fun with the raw components. We are giving her the electrical components and some loose wires. This exercise will help her in a couple of ways. First, she will understand that the milk does not come from the bottle in the fridge. Not all circuits snap. And second, practice makes perfect. Making the same circuit many times in different ways reinforces key concepts. This is not as easy as it looks. I have to use tape to hold and connect the wires. Okay, the LED is connected. Let me connect the motor so we can test. LED is working. Now let's try the motor. Yay, it works. Looks like we need all hands on board. Two to hold the camera. Two for the LED and two for the fan. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe and share.